Luke Gaquad. He is going to be our valedictorian. And uh, the highest grades, the highest grades throughout the entire program. And Ryan was right on his coattails. So it was very close. These two guys are outstanding, and so we'd like to recognize them. So Luke Gaquad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. When I walked into SA a little over a year ago, I knew right away that this was soon going to be my favorite place in Nashville. While Kevin was giving me a tour of the facility, I could hardly contain my excitement. The SSL and Need Boards brought back memories of what caused me to fall in love with this art in the first place. So when I started the program in January this year, a childhood dream had begun to be fulfilled. Above all, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and for giving me everything that I need. But more importantly, I want to thank God for, for blessing me with my best friend, my lovely wife, Jen, whose love and support makes this so much more worthwhile. I also want to thank my parents and my sister back in India for their support all the way along, for believing in me and in my dreams. And I hope that I made everyone proud, and I promise always to strive to do so. I would like to leave you with a quick story. Two men were asked to chop as much wood as they could in half an hour. The first man picked up his axe and went straight to work with great vigor. About 10 minutes later, he noticed that the second man had walked away. So he continued to chop wood with all his might and felt pretty good about how much he had accomplished. But over the next 10 minutes, he had tired himself out and could work no more. Just then, the second man returned and began to chop wood. Within the last 10 minutes, the second man ended up chopping twice as much wood as the first man did. The first man was simply amazed by this and asked the second man, how did you manage to do that? To which he replied, I spent the first 20 minutes sharpening my axe. So don't hesitate to take the time you need to sharpen your axe. And when the job is done, sharpen it again, because there's always so much more to learn. If you, love, if you do what you love doing the most, then you won't have to work another day in your life. And I pray that each of you will be successful, and more importantly, happy in what it is that you choose to do. Let's make the world a better place, one song at a time. Thank you. Luke Gaquad. Congratulations, you are now graduates of SAE.
Jennifer and Luke, we have gathered together to witness and bless their union in marriage. To this sacred moment, they bring their shared dreams, which are leading them to bind themselves together in an eternal commitment. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jennifer, for Luke, In Genesis 1, we read that God created the universe. And then God focused all his attention on Earth. The word at last really means, whoa. Whoa, this is bone of my bone, flesh of my bone. Live together according to God's law in holy marriage. Will you love him, comfort him? Honor and keep him in sickness as long as you both shall live. I love you. can exchange with honor. Dear Jen, I cannot express in words how happy you make me. I love your smile. I love your laugh. I love how goofy you are and how much fun we have together. You lift my spirit up and brighten my day. I love how God brought you into my life. I love that you are my best friend, that you have seen me and been with me in some of my most vulnerable times so far, and yet you love me. I love your taste in music. Rock on! I love that today I get to take you to be my wife, to be my love, and faithful partner in crime from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, both here and on the internet, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in health and in sickness, in good times and in bad, in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to have lots of beige colored babies with you, <laughs> to lead a family that serves and glorifies God, to pray with you and for you, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you 
and cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Let's do this! Luke, I love you, and I choose you as my husband, because I know that this love is from God, and by His divine hands, He has brought us together. You are my best friend in my heart. You challenge and encourage me to become a better person. I promise to place God first in my life, so that through Him I will be able to love you. I promise to cherish you for the man God has created you to be and who he is shaping you into. I promise to pray for you, encourage you, be faithful to you, respect you, comfort you, laugh and cry with you, be silly with you, support you, forgive quickly and never go to bed angry, and to love you with all of my heart through all the uncertainties and trials of the present and future wherever God may lead us in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, as long as we both shall live. It's an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. And now, as a token of your love and of your deep desire, to repeat after me. Jennifer, you receive and wear this ring as a symbol of my trust. As a symbol of my trust. As a symbol of my trust. By the promises they have exchanged, I now pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, our hearts filled with gratitude. We are in the creation that you created, but the best creation of a human being, man and woman. You have brought Luke and Jane in this wedding together, Lord, and you directed their path. Lord, we just want to thank you that you have done it. We acknowledge it is only you have done it. Thank you, Lord, for their life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that the way they have touched our lives, Lord, their house will be a, a lighthouse, Lord. We bless them, Lord. And Lord, not only today, we commit ourselves that here after also, Lord, whenever we remember these names, we will pray a prayer for them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this evening. Thank you, Lord, for this evening. Friends and families, let me introduce to you.
Katrina David. Holly and Bonnie. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know you, but I'm gonna need you to stand for this one. Cause this is a very special. Thank everybody for coming out tonight and helping us celebrate such an awesome occasion of these guys that I could run. Woo! Woo! Big screen for me. Right now. Sorry? Oh, 